Did you know that you could unlock your Galaxy phone using arrows? Did you know about this floating menu? If you want to know how to enable these and many other hidden features on your Galaxy phone, this is the video for you. Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, tips and tricks and how-tos, consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show, unpacking a lot of the hidden features of the Galaxy S phone. Okay, let's kick off with the ability to unlock your phone in this new weird using the arrows ways. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go into settings, scroll down until you see accessibility. When you see that, you're gonna look for something called direction lock, and you're gonna enable that. Now here you're gonna set six to eight different types of directions. So I'm gonna make it simple, down, down, up, up, right, right, and I'm gonna confirm that, and then just basically make sure I remember my own code. Cool, now let's get that onto a locked phone and see what that looks like. And I'm gonna swipe, 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 and one more time, and my phone's unlocked. Now little things that you can do to like customize sound and vibration feedback whenever you do that. So if you want that kind of thing, go for it. If you have a screen protector on your phone and you feel like your phone is now no longer as responsive as it was before, all you're gonna do is go into settings. Then you're gonna choose into advanced features, Scroll all the way to the bottom until you see touch sensitivity. Simply enable that and your phone is going to feel much more responsive even with the screen protector on. So we all know about scrolling in landscape and turning your phone around and it will scroll in portrait mode. Okay, that's old news. But when you go back to your home screen, you keep on having to switch between portrait and landscape mode. Well, you can do something about that now as well. Long press anywhere on the screen and then choose home screen settings and this time you're going to disable the portrait mode only. Disable that. Now look what happens. Let's open up the web browser. So there it is. I got my thetechieguy.com and I'm scrolling through my articles. Now when I go back to my home screen, it is now also in the same mode that I had before. And of course if I turn my screen in the right way, it will flip back to its neutral position. When it comes to the camera settings, there's a whole bunch of them and I've already made a video about that. It'll be linked in the cards up here above. But today what I want to show you is something that's going to help all you left-handed people and it's going to help if you're using your phone on a tripod. So let me show you this. You go into your camera settings and this time you're going to enable the floating camera button. And look what it does. It adds another shutter release button allowing you to move it absolutely anywhere on the screen making it easier for you to snap your photo. So if you're left-handed, you want to use your left hand, cool, no problem. And whichever button you press, it's going to snap a photo. Now this is really, really useful, especially if you're going to use your phone on something like a tripod with a clip. Sometimes the clip gets in the way. Well, you simply add the floating button, move it around, and you're good to go. Right, a couple keyboard hacks here. Let's go into a message, and then this time let's fire up the keyboard. Now, on the bottom right, you've got a little picture of a keyboard, and this allows you to very quickly switch between keyboards if you've got them in different languages or a different type of keyboard. That's very handy to have. Click on the gear icon, and we're going to go into keyboard layout and feedback, and then something called size and layout. And here is where you can shrink your keyboard or make it a little bit bigger, and you can enable the number keys on the top or disable them if you don't use them that frequently, and alternative characters as well, enable or disable. Even the navigation bar has a couple of little hacks that we can play with. So let's go into settings and this time I'm going to choose display and on the display menu scroll down until you see something called navigation bar. Click on that. Now a couple of things here. First you can have a show and hide button and once you enable that, let me show you what that looks like. Now you see your navigation bar at the bottom. There's a little dot on the left side and if you double tap on that it makes it disappear. So now swipe up and the menu is back. So then you can go back to your home, recently used applications, etc. Now what you can also do, swipe up and then double tap again and that will keep it there permanently. When you move from another Android phone to the Samsung phone, sometimes the back and the recently used buttons are inverted. So on your old device it might have been the other way around. That's fine, you can go back and change that as well. Go into your navigation bar settings, besides choosing the color, at the bottom it says button input and you've got an option to choose which one you want first on your navigation bar. Right next up let's look at some sound options. So click on the settings, go to sound and vibration and scroll down until you see something called 
sound quality and effects. Now most people have the Dolby on and they have it on auto, so they leave it by default as it is and they get pretty good sound. But if you change it to movie, music or voice, each one of them has its own profile and it's going to give you much better audio out of your Samsung. You don't have to go into the settings every time, all you're going to do is enable or disable it straight from your drop down menu. And as you know, if you click on the word underneath the settings, it gives you some options. Long press it and you go straight into the main settings. Now here's a way to create your very own sound profile. Go into the sound settings, go down to the bottom where it says adapt sound and simply follow the prompt. It will create your own profile based on your hearing ability, what you like and gives you beautiful sound out of your Samsung device. Let me show you the hidden assistant menu option. So go into settings, go down until you see accessibility, tap into that, choose dexterity and interaction and assistant menu and you're going to enable that. Once you turn it on, you'll see this little square pop up in the middle, which of course you can move anywhere. And when you tap on it, a whole bunch of options open. Now these are options that you'll use on a frequent basis and what you can actually do is customize it. Go back into assistant menu, go into the assistant menu options and this time you can enable or disable the options that you're not going to use and of course move things around making it more convenient for you. Stuff you don't want, press on the little minus sign. Items that you do want, press on the plus side and there it is all added to your menu for your convenience. Now these features will also work on the older Galaxy phones, so let me know in the comments below if you've used it on an S7 or an S8 for example. Check out some of these other tips and tricks about the Galaxy phones. Smash that subscribe button if you're new here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I'll see you on the next episode of Talking Tech with a Techie Guy, because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.